Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Ninjago Ninja Nightcrawler set. This is set number 70641, 552 pieces, and we get three minifigures. We get Lloyd, Nia, and one of the new villains for this theme, this wave of Ninjago. This is Ultraviolet. So look at that cool face mask with the two ponytails sticking out. Very cool stuff. You can see she has this pretty cool mace. And of course the little hot rod motorcycle. So very, very cool looking stuff. So let's bust this box open and see what we have in here. Look at, they have this on the back of the box. It says three to collect. So I guess you collect three different masks for the villain figures. All right, so we have a large sticker sheet that's actually in good condition. Um, we have an instruction book number two that's slightly folded or rolled over, so I'll reverse roll it. And we have an instruction book one that's in perfect condition. And what do we have in here? We have numbered bags. There's a bag five, a bag four. Here's one, here's three and two. Move all those to the side because we're gonna jump into bag one before any of the others. All right. So, bag one out. We have our first, whoops, a small bag of parts. I need to empty out. So, let's jump right into this we have our minifigure this is ultraviolet so she has some pretty cool pants I actually like those pants a lot it has the little pockets and a little chain hanging off over here some knee pads nothing on the sides or back oh it's got some uh, we call those boots the, the, the toes of the boots showing. And some decent printing on the torso. So here is her face. Kind of like a clown painted face. Oops. Before I put the face on, I needed to put this shoulder gear on. And then her head. So next is the helmet and the face mask piece. So this is what I was excited about. So I was wondering how this was going to be. So it's it's basically your standard Lego City racing helmet and where you would connect a visor or goggles or anything. It basically you connect this little face mask on there. So you can see it does come up like that and then she could push it down. And then let's not forget, she has her two ponytail pieces sticking out the sides. <laughs> that is really cool. I love the the big over-exaggerated eyes and mouth on the, the mask. And then I like the way you can flip it up and she can you can actually see her her face. That is really, really cool. I like that a lot. All right, so let's build her little weapon. She has this mace that she's gonna be slinging around. And I'm looking for a gray Travis brick. Or is it black? It's hard to tell with the instructions. I'm actually not seeing one in here at all. That's interesting. We are gonna need these. Pyramid shapes. Maybe if I move some of this around, I'll see it. I'm not seeing it. Did I? Oh, that's why I'm not seeing it. It's still in our first bag. So I've done this before where I've not dumped everything out and I look for stuff. So that's kind of the, the lesson of today is make sure you dump everything out. So this, this brick has studs on all the sides. So 
we're going to attach these trans pink pyramid slopes all around it. And there's a short chain piece. Slide a hammer through this end of the chain. And that is what she can hold on to. So very cool minifigure along with her weapon. Awesome, awesome stuff. I like that a lot. So let's begin her little motorbike. This black motorcycle fairing. We're going to put two black pneumatic tees in there. And this purple body on it. And then we have these red kind of Harley Quinn-esque style wheels with the motorcycle off-road tires. We have our first sticker, sticker number 12. This will go right here on the front of the motorcycle. We have these red ninja swords. Slide in the Backside of this bionicle finger. Put that there. We have one more. Over there. Right, so that completes her motorcycle and her minifigure and everything. Very good. I like it a lot. So we're gonna move that to the side for now. I'm actually gonna take her out of that. She's got so much going on there. The mask feels a little flimsy, but it's only being held on by two little clips. <laughs> Alright, so let's begin the night crawler. So we're gonna begin with this technic brick. We're gonna slide a long Axle through one of these holes, put a yellow half bushing, black bevel gear, another yellow half bushing, Technic brick with this green non friction. Beam. Put that there. Red bushing. And dark tan plate. Some more Technic bricks. This one is similar to the one we just built, but we're gonna put this axle through with a red bushing. I'll go there. So I guess that's our two axles. These dark gray axles with the stops all the way in here. Now we have this dark tan plate. Two more Technic bricks and another larger Technic brick.
two axles with stops and two more Technic bricks. There's going to be a lot of green color in this model since that's the main color of the, the vehicle. And it is Lloyd's vehicle anyway, so he is the green ninja. So it makes sense that there's gonna be a lot of green. And we're definitely doing a lot of Technic construction early on. But that's kind of common with Ninjago sets is there's typically a lot of Technic style pieces in it. So if you're not into Technic, maybe the Ninjago's not for you, maybe. Or maybe it's a gateway to get you into Technic. Maybe you'll end up liking it. lime green studs some more brackets single dark tan plate there and a blue plate there this around that on there it's tan brick will hold that together and this looks like the cockpit area Finishing it off with this tan color. Two red plates and two more brackets. All right, let's move some of these extra pieces to the side. That completes our first bag of parts, so we're making some progress. So let's jump on to bag number two right now. Okay, we have bag two parts out, ready to go. We don't have any minifigures in this bag. So we're just gonna jump right into continuing of the build. A couple plates. This piece will pop on right there. So here we have Two more plates. We have one of these little Speed Champion style two by four plates that have the Technic bricks built in. Put a two by four plate and a red brick. That will go there. And a single plate right down here in the middle. Two 
two wedge plates. Two of these wedge bricks. We have two more, and these are gonna get stickers. So we have sticker number five. So go on this one. And we have sticker number six. It's gonna go on this one. Now the, the stickers look almost identical. They're just like flipped versions of each other. So one will go there and the other one will go right there. Now we have some lime green wedge bricks with two lime green tiles. And we have a two by two tile and that and a clip. We'll go right here. So this is interesting. We have this this piece right here, and that's gonna get the um, little speedometer style printed piece. And we have a steering wheel right there in the middle. Now we have a two times build of a little sub assembly. Just gonna consist of these plates, some jumper tiles, and two double wide cheese slopes. Repeat those steps for another one. And this will go here and right there. Now we have another sub assembly. It's 10 pieces including these tan cheese slopes. Clips and tiles. This will go right here. So that looks good. Two more brackets. And two more lime colored tiles. They're actually kind of tricky to get in there, but squeeze them in. Have another two times build. It's gonna look similar to the other one we just did, but slightly different size. Very good. All right, so we have these two, three long axles with the stops. We're not gonna push them all the way through just yet. We're just gonna hold them just short. Next is more plates and brackets. Interesting. Technic brick on the sloped piece. Out of there. Let's turn this around. There, that there, we have the tile. And this plate. Hold that one on. All right, so we're making progress. That completes our second bag of parts. So let's move on to bag number three right now. Okay, we have our third bag out, ready to go, and we're moving on to our second minifigure of this set. This is Nia and her 
her um, leg portion. You can see it's got some cool armor printing on there. You can even see the little kind of like chainmail style armor. Got some uh, sandals there. Um, it does have this vinyl style um, armor wrapped piece that we wrap around the, the legs and slide the little holes on top of the, the leg studs. Put her torso on. And she has a piece that goes over the neck bar. I guess I should have spread out the parts before I started building this. So it's an armor piece, but then it's also a sword sheath type thing. We've got the lower mask portion. We have her head. Put her top part of the mask on. And the instructions show both of her swords sliding into this back portion. Just like that. So there is Nia. Very intricate, nicely detailed, great little minifigure. So she's definitely becoming one of my favorite characters in the Ninjago theme. Um, she's definitely evolved from the, the introduction of, of her to where she is now. It's becoming a really cool Ninjago character. All right, so she has this really large weapon that she's gonna hold. I guess the swords will just be a backup piece. bar that'll go there and let's see we have another stud and these are the studs with the hollow hole in the top some people call them Apollo studs hollow studs whatever you want to call them that's her big handheld melee weapon I mean, it's enormous. Look how, look how big it is. It's it's twice as big as she is. But either way, it's a very very cool figure with the accessories. All right, move her to the side and let's continue on with this Nightcrawler. So what are we gonna do here? We've got this plate. Two cheese slopes. Two yellow plates. Two by three and a two by two. An assortment of Technic bricks. getting a little fragile so I'm actually going to put it on the table. I've noticed that Lego designers have designed the instructions as if you're building this flat on a table. So when the model starts to get a little wobbly in my hands I put it on the table. It seems to stabilize pretty quickly. There's a lot of small pieces in this bag. So we'll just continue going through them all. So next we have two of these non-friction three long Technic pins. Put this little pin joiner piece on there. 
These will both go here. Next is this plate. Oops. Try to keep this on the table. Or else it's gonna get wobbly. This is actually a very large sub assembly that we're making. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is just yet. A lot of Technic. Definitely if you're not into Technic, I would get worried about this set. See wedge piece here. slides all the way in here and we push this axle through. That piece, two of these lime green studs on the bottom. Move that to the side. Have another sub assembly. pieces here, another lime green plate here, this has all kinds of stuff going on and I am not quite sure what we're building so this is interesting to say the least. So, it's more Technic. Slide that bevel gear on. That here we have a half bushing. This U joint. Red axle, and then this bevel gear. That will go there. plates. Line plate and the wedge plate. And our next sticker, sticker number 11. pin. We have this rotary stud launcher gun. Gets this click of no return piece. I'll go there. Slide an axle through. Put a half pushing on. bevel gear and another half bushing. Turn this over. Anti-tile here. Turn it back over. And this will slide in right there. I'll just push this piece in. Alright, so there's our little linkage piece. Half pushing. And I bet we're gonna build the other rotary stud launcher gun part right here. This is a very intricate little build, so whoever designed this, I have to give them kudos for coming up with this nice little play feature. watching Lego 
know someone from the Lido group watches this. If you're watching this, mad props to the designer of this set. Very, very good stuff. All right, so once again, we have our bevel gear. Technic brick, half bushing, the U-joint. Go there. Our slope, Technic brick. here make sure we're not missing anything we do have our next sticker simply goes there we have our click of no return technic pin that's good that's where it at the point where I'm kind of memorize what we're doing. Doesn't take long, just a couple repeats and you start to remember everything you did from the previous steps. If we turn this over, this simply slides into that axle. Slide this pin in there. There's our rotary weapon next is that piece will slide it through and attach that there do another one just the same this whole thing will Drop in, kind of moment of truth style. If you built it right, it should fit right in there. Looks like it does. Fits perfectly. Then we push these two axles straight in. That'll also help hold it on. And two more little axle pieces. All right, move our extra pieces to the side and that will complete instruction book one. It also completes uh, bag number three. So we are going to stop this portion of the build here. We're gonna have a second part, it's gonna be released today it's gonna be released literally right after this video so if you're watching this right when it goes up then part two is already up check it out there's gonna be a link down below also if you want to check it out um, don't forget to check out all the other um, lego ninjago build videos i have on this channel an absolute ton of them so if you're a lego ninjago fan you're in the right spot check them all out and we'll see you in part two